your passion for health and wellness could make your wallet a little healthier too. Intrigued? You should be. In today's video, we'll venture into the rapidly evolving world of health and wellness apps, and specifically, how you can make money online from them. We'll talk about developing unique and personalized health and wellness applications, streamlining them towards a lucrative revenue model, and dominating your competition, quite like how a workout dominates you. Stay with me, and by the end of this video, not only will you know exactly how to get started, but you'll also get a glimpse of the handsome profit potentials these apps can unlock. If earning cash from the comfort of your home gives you a dopamine hit, then this video is just the right fuel for your entrepreneurial spirit. So, stay tuned, and let's dive straight in. Identify your target audience. Understand what they desire in a health and wellness app. Identifying your target audience and understanding their desires in a health and wellness app are vital steps when creating or marketing a new application. Your target audience could be diverse and broad, but it's essential to narrow it down to a specific group that would be most interested in your app. This group could be fitness enthusiasts, individuals striving to lose weight, busy professionals who need to manage stress, people with chronic conditions that need to monitor their health regularly or elderly people who need to stay active and healthy. Once you have defined your target audience, you'll need to understand what they desire in a health and wellness app. Overall, most users who are keen on the health and wellness genre look for features that can assist them on their journey towards achieving a healthier lifestyle. Customizability. Users prefer an app that allows them to tailor fitness plans according to their personal goals, fitness levels, dietary needs, health conditions, and schedule. Ease of use. The application must be user-friendly with an intuitive interface. Many users will be deterred if the app is too complicated to navigate. Tracking and progress reports. Users generally appreciate apps that allow them to track their progress and provide detailed reports about their diet, exercise routines, and overall health methods. Guided workouts and diet plans. Content such as video guided workouts, yoga sessions, meditation guides and suggested diet plans can be very compelling for those who need structure and guidance. Access to professionals. Having access to dietitians, nutritionists, personal trainers, or mental health professionals for advice or consultations is a useful feature that your target audience might desire. Integrations. The ability to sync with different devices or apps, fitness bands, smartwatches, etc. To gather and centralize data can be a highly sought-after feature. Community support. Features that connect users to community forums or support groups where they can share experiences, seek motivation, and exchange tips can further enhance the user experience. Notifications and reminders. These features can motivate users to stay on track with their diet or workout regimes. Understand that different audiences may require different features. For example, young gym goers might require advanced workout routines, while the elderly might just need simple exercises to maintain activity. Therefore, the one-size-fits-all approach will not work here. Understanding and integrating features desired by your specific target audience will make your application more appealing and effective. Develop a unique selling proposition. What sets your app apart from the others? Developing a unique selling proposition USP, is crucial for an app to stand out from the countless apps available in the market. Your USP is what makes your app different and better than others, allowing you to occupy a unique position in the minds of customers. To craft an effective USP, one must understand the competition, its features, strengths and weaknesses. It's also essential to understand the needs, desires and pains of your target audience. This includes understanding the features they would like to see in your app and what would make it appealing for them. Moreover, your USP should highlight the main benefits of using your app, that other apps may not be able to provide. This could touch upon factors like user experience, app functionality, pricing strategies, and customer service among others. When your USP is formulated properly, it can draw attention, generate interest and create desire among potential users. It therefore enables you to communicate your value proposition effectively, secures a distinct positioning in the market, and reinforces user loyalty, making your app irreplaceable in the minds of your audience. Examples of unique selling points for an app that include, but are not limited to, being the quickest, easiest to use, offering unique features, integrating various functionalities into a single platform, offering the best value for money, being the most customizable for offering superior customer support. Finally, your USP must be communicated consistently and clearly across all promotional platforms and user touchpoints, making it the backbone of your marketing and promotional campaigns. Remember, 
your USP is your app's competitive edge which will assert your app's individuality, making it preferable to carry out certain tasks and hence, increasing its chances of download and usage among your target audience. By doing all of these, you get to differentiate your app from the others, attract the right users, and provide a compelling reason for downloading and using your app. In the long run, having a compelling unique selling proposition will contribute greatly to the success of your app, maintaining its relevance in a saturated market, and potentially transforming it into a dominant player in its category. Design, develop, and test the app. Hire a team or use online platforms to create your app. Creating an app is a multi-step process that involves various stages including design, development, and testing. You can choose to do it yourself if you possess the necessary programming skills. If not, you have two basic options. You can either hire a professional team to create the app for you or use various online platforms and tools that can help you create the app. In the design phase, the app's interface and user experience are conceptualized. A clear and intuitive design is crucial to the success of the app. It is helpful to create sketches, wireframes, of what the app will look like and how it will function. Hiring a team consisting of a UX, UI designer can prove to be beneficial as they are experts in creating user-friendly interfaces. In the development phase, the idea and the design of the app are turned into a functioning product. If you hire a professional team, it could be composed of front-end and back-end developers, a project manager, and possibly other roles depending on the complexity of the app. The testing phase is also crucial. Assessing the app's functionality, interface, compatibility, performance, and security helps in identifying and fixing any issue before making the app publicly available. This phase might require the service of a QA, quality assurance, professional or you can take advantage of a number of online tools that help with testing mobile apps. Online platforms can also be considered for creating an app. These platforms offer a variety of customizable templates that allow you to design and build your app without any coding. Some examples include BuildFire, AppyPy, or business apps. These platforms often include built-in functionalities but can also limit the individuality and uniqueness of your app. Whether you choose to hire a team or use online platforms, you must consider your budget, the complexity of your app, the amount of customization you need, and the time you can dedicate to the process. Remember, once the app is developed, it needs to be updated continually to keep up with changing user preferences and technological advances, so the process doesn't end after the launch. Hiring a team or subscribing to an online platform are long-term commitments and should be thought through thoroughly. Personalize the app. Provide customizable features that cater to individual users. Personalizing an app enhances user experience by allowing them to adjust the settings and features of an app according to their individual preferences and needs. This added layer of customization is more likely to boost engagement rates, customer loyalty, and overall satisfaction. Personalization features can be as basic as allowing users to modify their profiles, choose themes, adjust font size, or language preferences. However, it can also be in-depth like using data analytics to understand the user's behavior and then adjust the content that is visible to them accordingly. For instance, music streaming apps or video streaming apps analyze users' listening, viewing apps then curate personalized playlists or recommendations. Similarly, shopping apps provide suggestions based on past purchases, browsing history, and items added to wish lists. Location-based personalization is another feature which can enhance user experience. For instance, food delivery or weather apps personalize content according to a user's location. Moreover, a personalized push notification system can be built into the app. Instead of generic notifications, Personalized messages based on the user's behavior can be used to increase user engagement. The flexibility and adaptability that comes with customization features can drastically improve app retention rates. In an era where user experience matters greatly, personalizing app experiences becomes a crucial factor for the success of the app. It gives users a sense of autonomy and control, which ultimately makes the app more intuitive, functional, and user-friendly. However, while implementing these personalized features, privacy concerns of users should be kept in mind. Users must have control over their data and should be informed about how their data is being used. Transparency and consent are key in building a secure and trustworthy relationship with the users. Hence, features in an app should not only be customizable but also constantly evolving according to user preferences and technological developments, keeping the user at the heart of the design process. Monetize the app. Consider premium features, in-app purchases or advertising. 
monetizing an application is critical for its long-term success. This can be achieved through various strategies, such as offering premium features, enabling in-app purchases, or including advertising within the app. Premium features. This model incentivizes users to upgrade to a better, more feature-rich version of the app by paying a one-time or subscription-based fee. These features should provide significant value to the user, compelling them to pay extra for them. An example is Spotify, which offers an ad-free experience, higher quality audio, and offline listening in its premium version. In-app purchases. In-app purchases can be utilized in several ways, such as selling virtual goods, like in mobile games, unlocking additional features or content, and selling physical goods or services. This model often complements the freemium model, where the app itself is free but additional content is available for purchase. For instance, Pokemon Go users can play the game for free but have an option to buy virtual currency to obtain rare items. Advertising Advertising can be a good revenue stream, especially for apps with a large user base. There are various forms of in-app advertising, including display ads, video ads, and native ads. The chosen ad format must align with the app's design and user experience, as intrusive advertising may lead to negative user reviews and attrition. Additionally, advertising should be relevant to the audience and should ideally enhance the user experience rather than detract from it. For example, Facebook displays targeted ads based on user interests and behavior. Balancing the app monetization strategies with the right user experience is critical. For the strategies to be effective, the app should first focus on delivering significant value to the user base, driving user engagement and retention. Monetization should feel like a natural part of the user journey, not a hindrance or an afterthought. Before choosing the right strategy, it's pivotal to understand the target audience, their willingness to pay, and their reaction to ads. In-app user behavior analytics can provide insightful data to aid these decisions. Analyzing market trends, competitor strategies, and continually testing and optimizing can significantly contribute to successful app monetization. Launch the app on various platforms, such as Google Play Store and Apple App Store. The goal of any app developer is to get their application onto the devices of as many users as possible. Two of the main platforms through which these apps can reach such a massive audience are Google Play Store, for Android devices, and Apple App Store, for iOS devices. Launching an app on Google Play Store. Before you can launch your app on the Google Play Store, it needs to be ready and fully tested. Once that's done, follow these steps. Create a Google Play Console account. To publish an app on Google Play Store, first you need to create a publisher account. Understand, read and agree to the developer distribution agreement. There's a one-time $25 registration fee. Create a merchant account. If your app is paid or contains in-app purchases, you need to set up a merchant account. Listing details. Provide details about your app e.g. app title, description, category, keywords etc. Add visuals such as screenshots, video, app icons as they play a key role in conversion. Price and distribution. Determine whether your app will be free or paid. Also, select the countries where you want your app to be available. Release your app. Prepare your app's .apk or .ob files and create a release. Roll out your app to a specific track. Launching an app on the Apple App Store. Apple's approval process is known to be much more strict than Google's. Here are the steps you need to follow. Register for the iOS Developer Program. Apple charges an annual fee of $99 for its iOS Developer Program. Prepare your app for distribution. Apps need to be optimized for specific versions of iOS, and need to have a unique bundle ID. Create a listing. Much like Google Play, you'll need to fill out information about your app, including the app name, description, price, category etc. Upload your app. Apple uses the program Transporter to upload apps. Release your app. If everything is okay from the review, your app will be live on the App Store. Both Google Play Store and Apple App Store have their distinct characteristics and steps towards launching an app. However, the ultimate goal remains the same, providing a platform for developers to distribute their apps to users around the world. Market the app. Use social media, email marketing, and other strategies to promote the app. Promoting an app requires a combination of various marketing strategies to reach a broader audience and effectively market your product. Using social media, email marketing, and other tactics can significantly increase the visibility of your app. Social Media Marketing Social media marketing is one of the most effective ways to promote your app. Platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, 
Twitter, LinkedIn, and YouTube reach millions of people worldwide and provide different ways to showcase your app. Facebook Ads With its wide demographics, Facebook is a prime place to promote your app. You can create targeted ads that are seen by people who are likely to be interested in your app. Instagram Features Instagram's Stories and Reels features are effective for promoting apps. You can create engaging stories and reels that highlight the app's features, how to use it, and the benefits to users. YouTube Videos On YouTube, you can create videos that give a more in-depth review, tutorial, or testimonial about your app. You can also collaborate with influencers or tech reviewers to reach a broader audience. LinkedIn Networking Posting about your app in related LinkedIn groups or your own network can be an effective way to capture the attention of professionals who may be interested in your app. Email Marketing Though it may seem slightly old-fashioned compared to other digital methods, email marketing is still a powerful tool for promoting any product, including apps. Launch Email Send an email to your subscribers list announcing the launch of your app, its features, and benefits. Regular Lead Nurturing Regularly send emails that provide updates about your app development, new features, case studies, and user testimonials. Discounts or special features. Offer exclusive app features or discounts to your email subscribers, giving them extra incentive to download your app. Other marketing strategies. Aside from social media and email marketing, other promotional tactics can boost your app's visibility. App Store Optimization. ASO, ASO entails optimizing your mobile app to rank higher in an app store's search results. The higher the app ranks, the more visible it is to potential customers. Content Marketing Regularly post engaging content about your app on blogs, article directories, or other platforms to educate potential users and direct them to download your app. Public Relations Reach out to journalists, bloggers, or influencers in your industry for media coverage. This will generate buzz around your app and increase its credibility. Referral Marketing Implement a referral program where current users get incentives like discounts or extra features when they refer others to download your app. Cross Promotion Collaborate with similar apps or brands who have a sizable follow. By cross promoting, you will expose your app to a wider audience. By combining these strategies, you can effectively promote your app and reach a larger, highly engaged audience. However, not every tactic will work for every app, so it's necessary to test different methods and measure their success. Seek customer feedback. Constantly improve the app based on users' feedback. Seeking customer feedback is an essential part of the app development and improvement process. By understanding the perspective of those that use the app, it becomes easier to identify issues that could be improved on and, in turn, provide an overall better user experience. To gather feedback, surveys can be administered to users preferably after they have had enough time to use and familiarize themselves with the app. The survey should be designed in a manner that will capture their direct thoughts and perspectives on the app's usability, interface, speed, and other notable features. Also, it is essential to encourage users to provide reviews and ratings on app stores such as Google Play or the Apple App Store. These public reviews will not only help with gaining valuable insights about user sentiments but also help attract new users. Actively seeking and responding to feedback in the form of queries and complaints from users offers an excellent opportunity to address specific issues directly. Creating a forum, or a platform within the app where users can dialogue and offer input, among other things, can be very beneficial. Social media can also be a valuable tool to gather feedback. With millions of active users, social media platforms provide a vast pool of individuals who can offer diverse perspectives on your app's performance. Once feedback has been gathered, it is crucial to analyze the data, identify trends, and pay particular attention to recurring issues. Improvement and adaptation should not be limited to fixing bugs or glitches based on user complaints but also include upgrading the app's design and enhancing user experience based on the patterns observed in the feedback. Remember, your app's users are the best testers. They interact with the app daily and use it in real-world conditions that are often unpredictable. Their feedback, therefore, offers a more accurate snapshot of the app's performance and areas that need improvement. By constantly seeking customer feedback and taking actionable steps based on their input, app developers and companies can ensure their apps remain relevant, user-friendly, and useful. This constant cycle of feedback, analysis, and improvement will greatly enhance the overall user experience and likely lead to increased user retention and potentially more downloads. In a competitive app market, this user-centered iterative design process could be the edge your app needs over the competition. Regularly update the app. 
This ensures its relevancy and improves user experience. Regular updates for an application are critical for various reasons. For one, they enhance the overall functionality and performance of the app, making it more efficient and reliable. These updates often come with upgrades to the app's features, offering more value to users. In addition, new features can also be introduced through these updates, making the app more versatile and capable of catering to a broader user base. One of the key reasons to regularly update an app is to fix bugs and issues. No app is perfect, and problems can be discovered after its initial release. Regular updates provide the ability to resolve these issues quickly, safeguarding user experience and maintaining trust in the app. A bug-free and smooth-running application usually results in satisfied users who are more likely to use the app frequently, leading to better user retention rates. Another reason to keep updating an app is to stay up-to-date with new technological advancements and trends. Technologies are ever-evolving, and apps need to adapt to these changes to maximize compatibility and performance. For instance, apps are regularly updated to go along with new smartphone hardware and software upgrades to ensure they function properly and take full advantage of the new capabilities. Further, regular updates give developers an opportunity to improve the design and user interface of the app. User preferences change over time, and apps need to reflect that. A fresh and modern-looking app not only attracts new users but also retains existing customers. Furthermore, Regular updates of the app reflect positively on the app's reputation. They demonstrate the developer's constant effort to improve the app's quality and meet the user's needs and expectations. This translates to a greater degree of user satisfaction and trust, enhancing the brand image and credibility of the app. Moreover, through regular updates, developers can also improve the security of the app. With growing concerns about data breaches and privacy, it's essential to constantly update the app's security features and fix any vulnerabilities. In conclusion, regular updates to an app are vital to ensure its relevancy, enhance user experience, fix bugs, stay up to date with the latest technology, improve design and user interface, and enhance security. In the ever-evolving digital world, regular updates are necessary to keep up with the competition and cater to the changing needs and preferences of users. Scale up. Once the app is successful, consider expanding to new markets or adding new features. Scale-up usually comes into play after your application has proven its worth and gained some level of success and attention. This phase is meant for growth and expansion to keep the momentum going, leveraging the success achieved so far. Expanding to new markets. Depending on the nature of your app, expanding to new markets could mean catering to new demographic groups, regions, or even industries. For instance, if your app currently serves English-speaking customers, consider translating it into other languages to cater to non-English-speaking markets. Similarly, if your app is currently popular in the United States, you might consider marketing it in Europe or Asia. You can also target different age groups, social classes, or occupations. The decision to expand should be informed by market research and user feedback to ensure the needs and preferences of the new markets will be well met. Adding new features. Another approach to scaling up an app is by adding new features to keep the app interesting and relevant. New features can not only retain existing users but also attract new ones. However, it's crucial to ensure that these new features actually add value and enhance user experience. Careful assessment of user feedback, analysis of user behavior, and continuous A-B testing can help determine what features to add. It's important to note that as you scale up, the potential for more technical challenges or glitches also goes up. Therefore, ensure the backend is robust enough to handle more traffic, new features, and expanded database. Consider leveraging cloud-based solutions to easily scale resources as required. Moreover, efficient customer service and continuous app optimization is key for successful scaling up. Scaling up isn't a one-size-fits-all process. The strategies that work best for your app will largely depend on its specific nature and target audience. Hence, you must carefully plan and monitor this phase of growth, carrying out necessary changes and adaptations based on the response received. Understanding your users and evolving with their needs is the key to successful scaling up. Absolutely, here's how it could look. And there you have it, folks. We hope you enjoyed today's video and found it informative, insightful and, most importantly, a whole lot of fun. Before you leave us, don't forget to check out this other video, we picked it out just for you, it's sure to keep your interest deep. If you want to keep up with all the latest and greatest content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe button, it's completely free. And while you're at it, 
why not click the like button too? It really helps us a lot in creating more of the content you love. Also, we'd love to hear your thoughts, so feel free to drop a comment below. We're always eager to know your insights, suggestions, and what you'd like to see next on our channel. Lastly, and this one is super important, don't forget to turn on post notifications that way, you'll never miss out when we upload new content. Remember, we always bring the best for our dear viewers. So, stay tuned and keep watching. Until next time, take care.